Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Castle David. Let's play a Pokemon Yellow. So we're here, back on the Saint Anne, and you're about to find out why I saved at this point. Ha! Gary appears once again. Bonjour, Ash. Imagine seeing seeing you here, Ash. Were you really invited? So how's your Pokédex coming? You you're asking way too many questions. I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Heh. <laughs> so he's just giving us a hint before he battles us? Seriously? And of course he has a different pose this time. So he's going to send out a Spearow. And I uh, don't want to start out with Ivysaur, because of course he's weak against the... Uh, 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 blah, 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 flying types. So I'm going to switch to Pikachu. Fury attack. Surprised they didn't even use a uh, uh, flying type move. Quite surprised, actually. Is he, I'm, I'm like, is he does not? Is he not like good at this? Fury attack again. Probably not gonna take down Pikachu. Oh, okay, good. Better than I thought. So this was easy. Easy take down Spiro. So at least they'll both share the experience. Ivysaur grew to level 20. Not bad. Uh, Pikachu didn't level up. Uh, Rattata, I will, I will change to Nido Queen because we're still getting close to getting Nido Nido Queen to level 23. So why not? And this will be an easy fight against this Rattata. Ooh, lovely, lovely, easy win. It's kind of hard to imagine him. Imagine Gary. Ooh, level 22. Just one more level. It's kind of hard to imagine Gary having already 40 kinds of uh, Pokemon at this point, because he still has his four Pokemon. Sandshrew. Uh, this will be easy for Ivysaur, so let's go ahead. Grass-type moves work very well on ground types. Haha, <laughs> see what I mean? One hit, take down. Love it. And his next Pokemon is, of course, Eevee. So I'm going to make uh, Nino Queen get the love again. Because this will be an uh, easy win for Nido Queen. Just get one... Just like a Lincoln Park song, one step closer to that level 23. Oh, it's not going to take it down, though. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> it missed. Easy win. That's what all those trainer fights will do for you. It's getting, it's getting kind of close. Huh. <laughs> At least you're raising your Pokemon. Well, duh. I heard there was a cut master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya. And of course, there he goes. So if we go across, go into these steps here, here is the room where the captain is. Oh, I feel hideous. Uh, seasick. Ash rub the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. <laughs> Phew! Thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know, you can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon and you can see a cut anytime. So we got HM01. Whew, now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's time. So yeah, now that... Oh, yuck. Shouldn't have looked. <laughs> of course, that's like the captain's barf... Barf bath, barf uh, bucket. <laughs> How to conquer seasickness. The captain's reading this. Well, I'm the one who's reading it. He's over there taking a. He's over there barfing. How can he be the one reading this? We're the ones that are reading it. Like, look. We are the ones that are reading it. The captain is over there puking out into his little barf bucket. I don't know, game. You may be wrong about that. Alright, with that, we're completely done here at the uh, St. Anne. So now it is time to... Now it is time to abandon ship. <laughs> I think it's time to abandon ship. <laughs> Children and me first. <laughs> Alright, so just... uh. A little second to say last goodbye to the Saint Anne. There it goes. There it goes. 
And with that, the Saint Anne is gone. So if you haven't followed the trainers, or if you've gotten all the items off the Saint Anne, uh, it's best that you wait until you before you get the cut HM. So Saint Anne is gone. All right. Now with that taken care of, we're going to heal up. And I'm gonna have to go catch a Pokemon. Or maybe I don't. We'll see if I can uh, use a Pokemon to teach Cut to. So it'd be uh, uh, treated like an HM slave. However, I may need to go and give me an HM slave anyway. One of those HM slaves. <laughs> Always gotta have one of the slaves. Uh, but first, let's see who can learn Cut. And uh, HMs have unlimited use, so you can teach them anytime. Let's see, Ivysaur and Charmeleon. I don't think I want to teach Cut to any of them. I want to get the good moves for, for them. Except I'm going to go uh, look at their uh, moveset really, really fast. Uh, both uh, for uh, whenever they evolve into Venusaur and uh, Charizard. Let's see here. Let's see what good moves we got here. I could probably more likely teach it to uh, maybe Ivysaur, because Ivysaur only knows uh, like mainly Grass-type moves and not that many Poison-type moves, but we'll see. But I gotta, of course, give me an HM Slave. So if it's gonna be like a Rattata, then that'll be fine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> just what I was just what I was <laughs> talking about. That's perfect. Okay, so I just want to go ahead and uh, just make sure it's not gonna faint. Probably shouldn't faint. Oh, halfway. But, uh, that should be... That should be... That should be fine. So let's give it a shot. That should be fine. Alright, perfect. Alright. At least this will get us one entry into the Pokedex. Because, of course, we're going to need the uh, Pokedex entries to uh, get, uh, all the other items for later. So whenever we, uh... Uh... Already have six Pokemon in our party... Uh, whenever we get to receive a Pokemon, it will automatically go into the PC. So I'll go and uh, withdraw Rattata from the PC. Uh, first, I'm going to have to make a deposit. Uh, let's see. Looks like it's going to have to be Butterfree for now. It's going to have to be Butterfree for now. So we can withdraw Rattata. Because he is going to be our, uh, mainly, like, for cut, for, a uh, cut slave. And what? Rattata cannot know, learn cut? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen that. I've never seen that. I thought Rattata could learn cut, because it has sharp nails. That, I've never seen that. Well, well now, granted, if it was cat, if if I had a Caterpie, then yeah, it can learn cut. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find like a a Jigglypuff, a level three Jigglypuff. Amazing. <laughs> and of course, Jigglypuff, I don't think can learn cut. Another Rattata. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, see what kind of Pokemon are on this route. Okay, so this is Route 6.
Let me see. I want to see if there's a good uh, Pokemon to catch here with uh, that can no cut. Looks like we might have to, uh, uh, yeah, we may have to go back a couple routes so we can catch, uh, or actually we haven't tried, uh, the route next to Vermilion City. Let's see what we got here. Looks like it may have to be Caterpie. So. So it looks like we have to go back into. Back to, towards uh, Viridian Forest. Or actually, I need to look at uh, the route that's next uh, to Cerulean. Ah, perfect. I know just the Pokemon to get. That can that can be our cut slave. However, I may raise it because it's it can be uh, pretty helpful later on. We'll see. And this is going to be a uh, the uh, route up uh, above uh, Nugget Bridge, so I'll head that way. Yeah. I was gonna. I kind of thought, oh, just jumping across to where the Brit, the gym is, will be a bit quicker. But no, the grass is right here, so I've got, I've got just the Pokemon to look forward to uh, teach, uh, cut and use it as our slave. Might train it uh, eventually. And as you can see, that uh, uh, rocket guy is gone. He's nowhere to be found anymore. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. An Oddish. So yeah, this Oddish will be our uh, our uh, cut slave, and Absorb's gonna be super super weak. Cause not to mention, uh, Ivysaur is a grass and poison type. Grass moves on Ivysaur aren't gonna really do very well. Mainly, mainly Absorb, cause Absorb is a very weak uh, grass type move. So it's not gonna do very much on Ivysaur. So let's see if I'll catch it the first time. All right. So we got an Oddish. Oddish will be our cut slave. And of course, uh, I will definitely, uh, like I said, I'll uh, probably raise these uh, other Pokemon I catch for... Uh, uh, I will probably uh, raise, more likely, Oddish. Radita, maybe not, because we can uh, catch its evolved form, uh, Raticate. Uh, a little later in the game. So I just don't think it's necessary even raising it. Now to be honest, I kind of remember having Radita for a slave. As an HM slave, so I might uh, keep, uh, I'll keep that, I might keep that Radita for future use. We'll see. But since we now have uh, Cut, we can use uh, Oddish to uh, cut down these trees. Like so. Yeah. Okay, so now it is back to Vermilion City. So uh, we can take on the uh, Vermilion City gym leader. And fortunately in this game, uh, the Vermilion City gym leader is going to be quite short. However, it can be tough. And quite annoying to get to because of the uh, uh, little, little puzzle thing that requires you to get to him. So, hopefully it won't be too much trouble. And of course, uh, we're gonna need Cut to be able to uh, uh, get to the uh, gym. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we can just cut down this tree. I'll just do your stuff while you're still in the Pokeball. <laughs> 
And uh, I want to see if there... Uh, before I forget, I want to see if there are any, like, hidden items here in Vermilion City. Uh, no, there are not. Alright. So into the gym we go. Now, before we uh, try to get to near, near the uh, uh, gym leader, I'll take on the other uh, uh, trainers here. This is no place for kids. Well, shut up. I'll show you who's the kid around here. Hey, we're not kidding, either. Haha, <laughs> see what I mean? So he's gonna send out a Magnemite. And as you can see, that is an electric-type Pokemon. So this gym is mainly used for electric-type Pokemon. Okay, so let's see how well Ivysaur can do here. That's it for Vine Whip. Vine Whip. And Sonic Boom, of course, does 20 damage, so... If he uses it again, I'll switch out. Tackle. Ha, <laughs> he missed. Sucker. I could have just used Leech Seed so I could get some health back. And a, hey, just keep using Tackle since it's much weaker. Keep using it. Keep using it. Tackle. And look at that. Sonic Boom. Just barely, just barely making it. Ivysaur just barely made that. He's still up. He's still up. Didn't even level up. Wow. After all that. Wow! Surprise me. Heh. <laughs> Sur supplies! Supplies to you. Now we take on this fellow. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. Well, duh. That did not... That last guy did not... Um... Uh... Give away the hint. So a rocker, huh? I don't think any, I don't think there's not that many good rock and rollers like me. So he's gonna use start. He's gonna first use a Voltorb. So we'll bring out Needle Queen, so we can get her to level 23. Sonic Boom, of course. The move can be quite annoying at this point. Tackle. That's that's how much it does for a critical hit. That's kind of a joke, if you ask me. Sonic Boom. Uh, kind of wish this Double Kick would be a critical hit. So I can take it down. And just one scratch will do it. Oh, great. Sonic Boom. Getting pretty tired of that move. But down goes the Voltorb. Ivysaur grew to level 21. Awesome. Neo King did not even go up. Neo Queen, excuse me, did not even go up. Great. So, we use Charmeleon some. Should be able to use uh, Charmeleon pretty well here. Screech! Ouch! That hurts! That hurts! Ah, uh, yeah, that, that did pretty well. Too bad it didn't burn the Voltorb. Would have been happy if it did. Would love for it to burn the Voltorb. Ah. Uh, Sonic Boom again. If this is not going to be a critical hit, I may have to use a potion. Ah, rats. I have to use a super potion. Oh, excuse me. Ah, I waxed down in my contact again. My goodness. Don't you guys hate it when this happens when I wax gets in your contact? If you guys wear, if some of you that wear contacts, that is, don't you guys hate it? Oh, it's annoying. Yeah, I got to waste a super potion here. Uh, but I guess it's okay since we'll buy more. Yeah, yeah. Good thing I did use it. Good thing I used it. However, I would love for it to use something else. Yeah, tackle shouldn't be too bad. Oh, that's enough for a critical hit. And yeah, that's too bad, but no big deal anyway since it's down. No big deal. Did not even evolve Charm or er, level up Charmeleon. Uh, you know, let's keep it out and see if we can use it to beat this Voltorb. Tackle. That's enough. That's how much it does for a regular hit, and that last Voltorb did nine for a critical hit. So I will have to switch out for the powerhouse Nido King. And that's how much it does for a critical hit on Nido King. Weak. And 
down goes the Voltorb. Did not even level up Charmeleon. Amazing. Fried. <laughs> Actually, I will go... Ep Dang, Pikachu, get out of my way. I'm gonna go heal up at the Pokemon Center, so I won't have to keep wasting any more Super Potions. And, uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, uh, uh, take out one of my contact lenses, because it feels like it's about to come off. I, don't you guys hate that whenever something gets into your contact lens, it starts making it to feel kind of loose, so excuse me for a little bit. Sorry about that. I just hate it whenever a uh, contact lens starts getting loose. Sometimes it just feels like it'll start just getting loose, uh, like whenever you just keep blinking a lot. I don't know how that causes that. It's just, it's very annoying. Alright, so back into the gym we go. So we'll be able to uh, take on one more trainer. So I'll switch uh, Ivysaur for Charmeleon. Uh, yeah. So I want to get uh, Charmeleon and Neoqueen to share the experience, because hopefully they should probably both uh, level up after this battle. We'll see. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. <laughs> Didn't think you were in the army there, sir. Didn't look. You don't really look like that much of an army man. Okay, so this guy has a Voltorb of his own. Quite a couple Volt Voltorbs here. And of course, it's going to use Sonic Boom. Screech again. You know, I'd love for it if it could burn, because unfortunately Ember doesn't really have that much of a burn rate. So that's why I wish I would have a better fire move. Okay. If it uses Sonic Boom, I'll at least live through this. I'll at least stay at be Self-destruct! That's not good. Dang it! Took down my Charmeleon. Can't believe it even used Self-destruct like that. Rats! He's gonna use a Magnemite. Uh, well, that went well. Not really doing much, but sorry. Sonic Boom. At least it'll take it down now without fainting. Without a good chance of fainting. Sonic Boom again. Still that still that guy's Voltorb is such a complete complete meanie for taking down my Charmeleon. You meanie. That should level up Nido Queen. No, it didn't. Wow. Amazing. Stop, you're very good. Yes, I am very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch uh, Charmeleon for Needle King. And here's the thing about uh, opening these doors to get to the gym leader. I'm going to be checking these trash cans, and we're going to find a switch. So hopefully we'll find a switch right here. Nope, there's only trash here. So we got to... Uh, in fact, we could talk to uh, the other, these other uh, trainers for hints. Lieutenant Surge set up double locks. Here's a hint. When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. So we can talk to yet more of these trainers. Okay, I'll talk. Lieutenant Surge said he hid door switches inside something. Inside the trash cans. The door won't open? Lieutenant Surge always was cautious. <laughs> so we got to look for the switch under one of these trash cans. And uh, we'll see. Oh, dang it. I really hate it when Pikachu gets in my way. Hey, there's the switch under the trash. Turn it on. The first electric lock open. Okay, so hopefully this one's it. The second electric lock open. The motorized door open. 
All right, we're good. We are good. Now, if I remember correctly, if we were to step outside the jam after the door's been open, uh, it'll lock the door right back. So I'm gonna safety save here, just in case. So, at least we'll have a chance with Nido King. Okay, so here we go. Head hook! Welcome to Vermilion... To, <laughs> let me try that again. Head hook! Welcome to Vermilion Gym. Will you look at that? A pint-sized challenger. Ha ha ha! You've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. A Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. Third gym fight in the game. The electric type gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. Now, in this game, he only has this level 28 Raichu. So, it's like I said, it's based off the anime, so his only Pokemon was Raichu. So, we're going to have uh, to... Rely on a couple of tough moves here. And of course, Mega Punch right there is a pretty tough move, so only 27, so that's no big deal. Now, uh, since it's, since Raichu is an electric type Pokemon, he won't hurt, he won't be able to hurt us with electric type moves. Because Nido King is part ground, so, uh, like, uh, like how we had to struggle with, uh, getting through Brock and we couldn't use Pikachu on his Pokemon. Well, Geo, his Geodude and Onix were part ground also, and electric type moves do not have, have any effect on, uh, ground types, so. We're pretty much good to go from his electric type moves. The only move that can basically hurt us is his Mega Punch. So, see, look right there. He tried to use Thunderbolt, didn't work. So, oh, growl, that's not gonna really work. But that's all right. Just one more and it'll take it down. As long as it's not a critical hit, we're still in there. All right, all right, take that, Raichu. That's the power of Nido King for you. Level 25, also sick, man. Ash defeated Lieutenant Surge. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine then. Take the Thunder Badge. <laughs> $27.72. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. Um, did he just give me the TM while looking to his right? I know it's looking to the left on the screen, but to him, he's looking to the right. Um, it's like, uh, just stick, stuck, stuck out of his left hand. It's like, just take it. Just take it. TM24 contains Thunderbolt. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. So, I know the Pokemon to teach Thunderbolt to. Pikachu. However, I'm not really sure if we're going to really, really use Pikachu that much. So, I'll hold on to it. Just in case. However, there is a good electric uh, TM move uh, in uh, one of the next cities that we can uh, buy. It'll be a very uh, useful uh, electric type move to use for Pikachu. So first I'll go ahead and heal up. And we'll have to go back to uh, Cer uh, Cerulean City. So we can take the route to the uh, right. To the right of it, we can uh, cut down trees to uh, take on more trainers. So... At least the uh, battle against Lieutenant Surge went went really well. So if you have a Nido King, that then that fight will be pretty pretty helpful, because like I said, uh, Nido King is part ground and uh, electric type moves don't work on him. I would say Nido Queen also, but uh, Nido King's far more powerful than Nido Queen, and Nido King learns Thrash, and that's a very powerful move. Okay, so we'll head back up to the route uh, next to Cerulean City. Let me uh, turn to the page. Let me turn the page. And that is going to be routes 9 and 10. And you know what? I forgot to buy a super potion to replace that other one, but that's no big deal. No big deal at all. <laughs> 